All right, so for today's video, I'm going to show you this interesting little piece of kit. It is a subcaliber mortar trainer, device number 3F8. Um, it's designed to be used with a 60 millimeter, 81 millimeter, and 4 inch mortar, if I'm not mistaken. And it came out of the 50s, I think. <clears throat> this one here's the National Guard version. And these were designed basically so that you could train with your mortars in a much smaller area. So I'll start by opening up the box here. <clears throat> this is the main part of it. You're supposed to have a full set of 20. Um, Subcal mortars. Unfortunately, three of them were damaged or missing or lost, I guess it was, by whoever had this before. So, basically, this is what my kit came with. This is a barrel. It's interesting, I'll show you how that works in a minute, but first I'll get the manual out. So, if I shift this upwards, I should be able to. So my kit came with all this. What you have there is cleaning tools, another part for cleaning. The in the bag there, along with that, are the pieces that connect to the front and back here. Depending on the size of the mortar you're using, it basically just allows it to fit inside the mortar tube. Uh, these are the original propellant for it, and these are just a few uh, loud blanks that somebody decided to, uh, I guess one of the owners had leftovers and it came with a kit too. <clears throat> this is just the tag that was on the outside and it was falling off so I just removed it and kept it here. This is the manual. I'll just go quickly through each page in case somebody wants to read it. So, 
which is this piece here. As you see, there's holes in it. So the barrel itself, which is the size of the of the actual mortars, obviously, is just a guide. <clears throat> the way this works is much like my uh, piet. It's a spigot. So what happens is you have one of these things, slides down the tube, impacts, fires, and all the blast is doing is pushing it up off of this. Once it's here, there's no longer any um, pressure on the thing. So that's where the holes are at the bottom of that is to let it to vent out and to keep your mortar round from slowing down when it's falling down the tube due to air trying to get through it. So it keeps it from being on an airtight seal basically, which means it will fire each time. So it also makes the barrel very easy for maintaining. You just clean it up and uh, that's pretty much it. These come out part in three pieces basically. So all the front here is where you would put a spotting charge. In my case, I use the uh, Ram set 22s. I use number threes just because I bought a, number, a box of number threes and number twos for the actual launching charge and realize that number twos match that one there pretty well. This one's actually a little bit less than a number two, so I figured number two is fine for with what I'm doing. Basically, 22 fits in there and that's the venting holes for it. On that, and as you saw in the book, I wish I could get a good picture in there, but that's why you could see it if you go back into the book. There is basically a weight with a spring keeping it back, much like the bazooka. And I'll take the back off, and you might hear it better because the back has its own. That's the piece in the front moving. That's also how you knock out the retaining ring on it. You just hit it a good few times and it pops out with the piece. The weight acts like a hammer. Anyways, so that moves forward when the thing hits the ground and sets off the 22 blank. Uh, soft ground makes this useless. It never sets off the charge. You'll see it in my video because we had some snow and it was a little bit soft underneath. Uh, I had two failures out of the five and uh, I tried it out a few weeks before when there was no snow and the ground had frozen over and all the rounds that I fired actually went off so as long as you have hard soil it should work. Snow it's a pain because you will lose parts and uh, you can also uh, have other issues with the uh, it embedding in the ground and not actually firing it doesn't slow down fast enough. This is the back end. You put another blank here, and that one there is on a piece like this. When you read the manual, you see that the holes here are basically to uh, mimic the augmentation charges or whatever you call it on a. Uh, a real mortar. So if you just wanted to pretend you were using the standard charge on it, the biggest hole lines up with this hole so a lot of gas comes out instead of all going this way and pushing off the, uh, the spigot. And you could rotate it all the way up to the point of no holes. So there's two positions where there's no holes on it. So that means all the gases from the 22 blank are going out through there. <clears throat> the firing pin for that is very simple. You should be able to see it here. It's just a protruding piece of steel. So when it drops, hits a spigot, pushes it forward and slams into the part here, launching it. Anyways, 
that's a quick walk around of this kit here. And very interesting little thing. It's the first one I've seen, so I decided to buy it. And uh, now we'll go see the video of me firing five rounds just with a tube. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them underneath. And thanks for watching. And I should have another video out soon, I'm just waiting for some parts. Anyways, thanks again, have a good one.